black and want the crazy sounds. You're fans of uh, Jupiter effects, but then they, you might also be people who like the ambient stuff. I don't quite know. Jupiter stood for game story, craziness, and now there's so much more that Chris and his beautiful team concoct, as they say. I said cock. <laughs> so um, we're looking at the fanway, uh, which is right there. And uh, you're going to ask yourself, what did... What do the so many knobs and none of them have has any uh any things are, where's the writing and there's pictograms uh I don't know well online there's a little uh sheet page four of the online manual t tells you what they do but uh very soon in the box you'll actually get a full manual Chris is working on that but that's also what I'm here for so the fanway is a dual delay one delay with uh, mix, time, and feedback, and another delay with mix, time, and feedback, and the analog delays. And when I asked Chris, what's the milliseconds? He's like, oh, I know. Uh, dude, you decided it. You, you designed it. Uh, 500 something, he said. I, I love that attitude. Who cares about exact milliseconds? It's not a thousand. It's an analog style delay, which means you get noise, you get degradation, and all that stuff. Not style. It's a real analog delay. So... That's uh, where you have time. Why time is a moon, I don't know. There's mix, half mix. That, that could be mix. And then there's feedback, which is tough to see. It's a circle with little arrows. So we're going to go and make that a little bit clearer for this video. That's not time. <laughs> That's actually mix. How are we going to make that into an M? Let me figure that out. That's an M for mix. That's a horrible M. This is time. And yes, this is Sharpie. We can't get it off. And this is delay number two, meaning it's being fed by delay number one. I suggested to Chris, which he thought was a good idea, why not deliver it this way? It's all cool and I don't know what I'm doing and fiddling around, but also deliver stickers so that for the people that want the labels, just put the stickers on top of the knobs. Maybe that's happening. We're doing the same thing on the right side, without making the mistake first. Okay, that's easier to understand what's going on now. This big thing is another time knob. It's an alternative time knob. Alternative time. Um, which means when you're pushing this knob right here, see it goes to the middle, showing you that it's the middle knob, and this one will replace delay number one, 
meaning you have this short, this long, and you can switch between short and long. What happens on an analog delay when you change the time while the delay is on? It goes whoop or whoo. Well, here it jumps, kind of like the Chase Bliss Thermae, um, where the analog delay time knob is being manipulated uh, digitally. If you set these at exact distances, you could even get a fifth or octave out of it. Octaves out of it. You you would have to really dial that in. We can even try that, but you can get really cool effects like this. And then this right here, that's an alternative feedback knob, which actually shows a little bit where that goes. See those lines? This will replace both feedbacks. Global feedback will change, and that's a momentary switch right here. Pretty much what happens is you hit that and goes, and then you let go and it back to the normal feedback after some, you know, after that is fed to it back. So we're going to call it R, ah, like ramp. So it's, it's the ramp value. Either I made my fan be more expensive now or unsellable. I have no idea. Uh, by the way, this is an unpaid video. I did get the pedal. It's actually here for a completely different reason. But you know me. I got a pedal on the table from a good friend. Why not show it to you? I mean, it would be a waste, right? So this is a Stanford. This is the Stanford Marquis. Clocks in at 899. Comes in a case. It is a hollow body. And it's a beautiful guitar, especially for those open, non-distorted sounds. And yes, Chris, we're not going to use distortion. That's a lie. I actually have a golden boy on the table. We're going to feed it some drive. Look, even that small, we can even now see what the damn thing does. So I'm going to go to this setting, get the mix all the way down on delay number one. So we're only going to hear the one on the left which sounds uh, in the, into, of course, the Tone King Sky King, into the Ox with the 412 Queen Back Loaded Cap. So off is off. Nice, round, squishy, pillowy kind of a delay. Let's try to get a um, dotted eighth out of that. So that's the maximum mix. Nice. And you can see there's actually more long delay time than short delay time. Long delay means uh, more noise, more grizzle, more low biddedness. That's fine. That's normal.
I made a little boo-boo. The whole time, the effects loop was engaged. Let me uh, show you from the side, actually. Um, there's an effects loop in and out, which is actually connected to the sidekick right now, which I have on Flanger. Let's see if we can actually hear that. So right now, the sidekick is off. Turn that on. So now there's a nice flangy flungy happening in the delay. I was wondering why I heard modulation because it's, it, there isn't modulation in the fanway. Uh, well, because I put it in the fanway. Now, of course, with a sidekick, I could put on another delay and a shimmer reverb only on the delay line. Let's do that. But let's get back to only the fan bay. There you go, that's the effects loop. Let's see where the, uh, let's get like a slapbacky kind of thing. Can we even get that? I'm sure it's not made for that. It's not made for slap but in a pinch you could get that. But let's see how far the feedback goes. having a shit ton of fun and that's just one delay now i'll do Jan delay that's a german joke no one gets it i don't even know what he does so technically if i take this all the way down at exactly the same settings that's the same thing So I can go do 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%
short, long, shorter feedback, longer feedback. <laughs> the edge but instead of digital analog say the edge instead of digital analog everyone now the edge instead of digital analog i wanted to do b i'm sorry the point loads of things you can do and now on to a thing a different thing let's do little here and remember this will become the new time knob once we hit this right button so we're going to do loads of time a good amount of feedback <laughs> That's, that, that's almost musical. Now! Number one is going through two, remember? So if two now had loads of feedback, we could actually keep that pitchy thing going. And lots of mix. Let, let, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
What happened when I pushed the momentary switch? It went to this and replaced these two feedbacks with the ramp feedback parameter. And I have no distortion on, that's purely the drive internally happening by things going haywire. idea to the Chris Master. Maybe it would be really cool to pick a couple of spots where you have, I mean, obviously it's completely proportional and you can use your ears, but there could be, let's say, three spots on this knob. So if I have it here and then I have this here, that's an octave. And then if I have this here and this here, that's an octave. And I have this here, but this here, that's a fifth. You know what I mean? I mean, somehow a couple of lines where the proportionality uh, is labeled on the thing so that you can actually come up with musical things a little bit quicker than having to dial it in. Uh, that would mean you have a couple of settings where, where, where those gimmicks work. And of course, there's a billion other settings where they're proportionally working, but just as a starting point for you to play around with those musical octave or fifth jump settings. Wherever I have it now, I have no idea. Let's find out. That's a minor third.
So that's the fourth. So yeah, I can dial in a fifth, but it would be really cool if there's just a couple of preset positions that give you that effect. Obviously, they would be, <clears throat> I'm spitting. Obviously, they would be uh, fixed delay times. I don't know if they would work for you, but for you to play around with that effect, why not? Then you always know it works at those settings. <laughs> So, main point, uh, can you play leads with it and do those beautiful analog, you know, yes, you can, but you can clearly see with the settings, everything is made for more drastic. This is a subtle setting, which a lot of the delays might be here. So everything is a little bit more drastic, just like with the uh, uh, times, you know, uh, slapbacky things aren't necessarily it's strong. So it's made for something else. But what an amazing creative idea of the Jupiter team there. Let's have two analog delays. One can be uh, pitchy artifacty by giving it another time and uh, could be even super cool if there was a little knob here to set the ramp time differently. So right now it's jumping directly. What if it went whoop up to that? I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do. This is of course for the typical Jupiter effects craziness, you know. Now it's self oscillating. I'm not even freaking playing. It's a great box. It's something that you can't find in any other delay. Two analog delays stacked on each other. One of my favorite things is the Strime and Dig, which is a digital, digital delay with two delays where you can do crazy things uh, with subdivisions and stuff. You can get similar rhythmical sounds here, but in purely analog. And then if you dial in those really cool pitchy things, you can get really cool soundscapes. It's great for the soundscapey stuff. It can be great for your leads. 
how insane would it be to be able to have that stereo? Well, you can't, it's mono. Uh, it has an effects loop, which means you can then further fuzz your delays or do modulation on them and all that stuff. Um, loads of possibilities. It's a super small team building out of a shop in up there in northern Germany, um, selling direct through Reverb. There's no distributor or anything in between. They're getting the money directly. You're supporting a really good uh, business Hardworking people. Every time I call Chris, everyone's you know hard at work there. Uh, this is a a company to support with a really cool product. You need to learn the damn thing, and it would be cool if we get some stickers to put on the knobs. Which once you know what they do, you can pull them off. I'm happy mine now is horribly labeled um, and unsellable, but that's good. It's mine. It stays here. That's my fan base. And thanks, Chris. Thanks, Frauke, and the whole team. Thanks, Leslie. Thanks to the dogs. I don't know what they did. They probably farted up there. Um, animals at the end. And you won't surrender to the blind leading the blind.